Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 where once again it has been a very long time since I've played. <laughs> um So freaking what are we we did Legion's mission and I just saw that we had a Geth sniper rifle we could research. Did we just finish talking to him like a bunch? I think we did. Well, okay, let's we will go Upstairs. No, let's not. Let's go over here. <laughs> Do you need something? Boop. Have a few minutes to talk? You needn't ask. Time for me is short, Siha. But any I have is yours to take. <laughs> How are you feeling? No worse than ever. You needn't worry. And you? You are well. No need I to worry can't about have a me. dying man is in the paragon position, up? so it's a hard, to it's hard for me to not instinctively go that way. It's years since I felt I could relax anywhere. I spent two years dead. Every moment seems irreplaceable now. I spent ten years dead. I understand the feeling. Strange that I should only reawaken now, when there is so little time left. No, don't think like that. Don't think like that. I'd like to think personally that every now and then, when there's cuts to black, that they just have like a little kiss, just like a little goodbye, like, you know, oh, the affection one, you know? Nice chatting with you, type thing. <laughs> oh, I gotta feed the fish. Because I got a reprieve on the fish. These ones might be dead. You're still alive, fish! Oh my gosh, you're still alive. Oh, good. Good. Hmm. Oh, hello. Hello, little frog. Freaking. I can't even handle it. It's too cute. Okay, let's check. I think because we just did Legion's loyalty mission. Yeah. Oh, cool! Alright, well, we're gonna take him out so we can see what he looks like in that. What is. Oh, yeah, I put you in the red one. Um. Let's go with that one for a bit. I do think Samara looks exquisite in the black and the gold. I'm just, I'm just a big fan. Big fan, big fan. Uh, yeah, let's do the red. Hey, nope. Okay. Stretch in there while you're doing your freaking. I am just inordinately fond of the characters I have. I just, I don't know. I'm just freaking. I'm like, oh, look at my shepherd. She's just stretching while she's doing her emails. Oh, Shane. Anyway, the choice is yours. Let's go poke Joker and see what he has to say. I mean, at this point, uh, well, let's do a little mission where we take Legion out if we have. I don't even. I don't think we have one actually. Shoot. I think I because I didn't realize that this was the way you could. Like I, I played this game twice before, but that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> it doesn't mean I remember anything. Um, so, but this was the way to keep Legion and make- The IFF is nearly installed, Shepard. Oh. However, I must test its impact on the Normandy systems. I suggest you take a shuttle to oh, okay. next location. Okay, here we go. Okay, so that, so that's true. Okay, so we can't, uh... We've got a Geth on board, not as a prisoner. Can you believe that? The commander's taking out more Geth than anybody. Exactly! Thank you for using your brain, soldier. Er, civilian. <laughs> Joker, what are you Good hit on those <laughs> Geth, Commander. You know, Legion's still wandering around the ship if you want to pick up the spare. <laughs> He's not wandering around. I assume everything's going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the Let's mute, but I think see. I made my point. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Having Legion around is just <laughs> begging for a rifle up your ass without the sweet talk. <laughs> Thane seems like the strong, sensitive, murdering type. You know, those are always great to have around, a real cuddler. 
It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. That's it for now. See you, Commander. So we did take Legion out. The crew is still working to get the Reaper IFF installed, Shepard. It is more complicated than I first anticipated. I will alert you once the system is ready for shakedown. Is there anything else I can do for you? That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Okay! So we're just gonna... We're just gonna do... Okay! All right, then. It's just gonna okie dokie then. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see if we have enough to research the Gev sniper rifle. We might not. I didn't like obsessively mine this time around. Uh, oh, okay, prototype. Oh yeah. Gets a widow anti-material rifle with enough raw resources and I. Compatible only with Legion. Custom Widow Rifle. Let's see if we can get the, uh... Oh, no, we can't. Oh, we're jet. Oh, freaking. All right, well, I'll try to remember to get that. Yeah. And the one thing I... Wow, wow, wow. One thing I forgot... Was the, that also requires a bunch of platinum? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, at least we have the sniper rifle. All right. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, we. Uh... The IFF is nearly installed, Shepard. <laughs> However, I must test its impact on the Normandy systems. I suggest you take a shuttle to access your next location. There we go. Okay. All right. All right. Okie dokie. I don't know if I'm mentally prepared for this. Okay. Oh, man. Almost finished my water already. That's not good. That is no good. That is no good. Okie dokie. Uh, I'm kind of curious if we should... Oh, let's we'll see if she said anything about Legion. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right all now. All right. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. It's always nice chatting with you. Thanks. Well, I fed my fish. Okay. Hey, Commander, good news. Looks like the Reaper IFF is finally hooked up and ready to go. That is not entirely accurate, Mr. Moreau. The device is powered, but it is causing some unusual instability in other systems. I recommend a more thorough analysis before we attempt to use it. Better safe than sorry with this tech. We'll take the shuttle for this trip. I'll make sure we're up and running when you get back. Commander, Miranda, I've already notified the team. We'll meet you on the shuttle. Once we're closer to our destination, you can decide who to take with you. Uh... Nah. <laughs> this makes zero sense! Why we would just then why wouldn't I just take everybody with me on this mission or whatever? I'm just gonna leave them sitting on the shuttle like I'll meet you at the shuttle then Joker the ship is yours. Aye aye commander <laughs> Okay, all right We got this Okay Oh man, I don't know if I'm ready for this Ready, line up. Oh shoot, come on, let me. Ah, oh, I was trying to. I guess those are the three you for sure have with you, so that's what that's who's in the cutscene. I was gonna see if we could see Legion's uh, new paint job. Because for whatever reason, I take everybody who's capable with me and leave them sitting around in the ship, in the shuttle. Just leave them there. We just totally do. Aw, you too. I'm telling you, Edie, your readings are off. It's radiation, please. Just white noise. I have detected a signal embedded in the static. We are transmitting the Normandy's location. Transmitting? To who? <laughs> Joker! Protect my baby! Getting out of here. Propulsion systems are disabled. I'm detecting a virus in the ship. Everybody's computers. ready. From the IFF? Damn it, why didn't you 
scrub it! Primary defense systems are offline. We can save the Normandy, Mr. Moreau, but you must help me. Be careful, everyone! Those are my engineers! Oh, what? You're crazy! You start singing Daisy Bell and I'm done! <laughs> I have sealed databases and I can initiate countermeasures. The maintenance shaft in the science lab will allow passage to the AI core. Main corridors are no longer safe. The collectors have boarded. Hey, Marty. Lighting will guide you, Mr. Moreau. Ah, damn it. Okay, okay, okay. This is really... See, and Joker's not... This is as fast as Joker can move. Shit. Because Joker is... He's got his disease, his bone disease. Look. Gold seed. Be careful! No! No! Just like regular collectors, those are like the the ah the, oh, the p words. The, they're the big ones that are really hard to take out. Like, and they're in my ship. They're in my ship. No, they're hurting my people. They're hurting. Ah! And you have Jeff, and he can't. He just multiple hostiles detected on the crew deck. Joker, this deck is crawling with those things. Stay close. I'll protect you. <gasps> oh my gosh! Shit, shit, shit! Good. You see that? This is the worst! She gets dragged in! Oh my gosh, there's a scion over there! Go through main fusion plant offline, activating emergency H fuel cells. What the shit? Ah! Alright, I'm at, uh, uh, you. Connect the core to the Normandy's primary control module. Great. This is where it starts. <laughs> We're just all organic batteries. Guess who the right? <laughs> this is all Joker's fault. What a tool <laughs> what a tool. I have to spend all day computing Pi because he plugged in the overload. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only reason this is bearable is because of that line right there. Oh, I have access to the defensive systems. Thank you, Mr. Moreau. Now you must reactivate the primary drive in engineering. Ah, uh, you want me to go crawling through the ducts again? <laughs> I enjoy the sight of humans on their knees. <laughs> that is a joke. <laughs> right. The shaft behind you connects to the engineering deck. Good luck. Okay, that part where Kelly gets like dragged into the elevator features in some of my nightmares. I'm not even joking. Like the stuff. It's like a, one of the Jurassic Parks where like the guy gets dragged into the into the. the like, Hostiles are closing in on your. Go location. go. Please hurry. I know that you can't mess this up, so I need to keep moving. trying to track my position through the air decks, but everybody, like, they're trying so hard! Like, the, none of them even hesitated! And they're throwing themselves at the collectors when every single person who's, like, the top dog is gone. But they are trying so hard. Hostiles are present in engineering. They are heading towards the cargo bay. We gotta be careful, we gotta be careful, we gotta be careful, we gotta be careful, we gotta be careful. I messed up in this part once. Engineering is clear of hostiles. Proceed immediately to minimize chances of detection. I'm going, I'm going. Everybody's Activate gone! Activate the drive and I will open the airlocks as we accelerate. All hostiles will be killed. What? What about the crew? They are gone, Jeff. The collectors took them. Oh, shit. Only Joker made it. I am sealing the engine room. I have control. Ooh, buddy. And that broke several bones. Purge is complete. No other life forms on board. Securing airlocks and cargo bay doors. Thanks, Joker. Send a message to Shepard Shuttle. Tell her what happened. Message away. Are you feeling well, Jeff? No. 
But thanks for asking. Everybody! The ones they didn't kill, they took! And they killed some! They killed, we saw them jump on that guy, and it's like... It's like freaking Goldstein tried, and like... Uh, Harvey, I don't know Harvey, I can't remember. But these are all guys that I know, like... These are all people, like the guy who was talking about his baby, and like... And, and the, the people who talk on the... On the bridge, you know? And then like... The people who talk in the mess hall. It's like they had names and personalities and lives and they were handpicked, but they they couldn't do they weren't trained to fight the collectors on the Normandy, like, you know, and But everyone? You lost everyone and damn near lost the ship too? I know, alright, I was here. It's not his fault, Miranda. None of us caught it. Mr. Taylor is correct. The harmful data in the collector drive was even more sophisticated than the black box reaper viruses I was given. And you could totally ream Joker here, and he know he's feeling it, like he knows it. I heard it was a rough ride. How you holding up? There's a lot of empty chairs in here. We did everything we could, Jeff. Yeah. Thanks, Mom. I think it's time we bump up our trip to the collector homeworld. The IFF is cleaning online. With Edie hooked in, we can go through the Omega-4 relay anytime we want. Don't even get me started about unshackling a damn <laughs> Well, what can I do against collectors? Break my arm at them? <laughs> Edie cleared the ship. She's all right. I assure you, I am still bound by protocols in my programming. Edie. Even if I were not, you are my crewmate. <laughs> well, she's just... She's growing, you know? It's like she's evolving. Edie's had plenty of opportunity to kill us. We need all the help we can get. Sounds like we have everything we need to rescue the crew. We've done everything we can. It's time to take the fight to the Collectors. Okay, I, I'm gonna say, I, I wanna, I do wanna say we're ready, but I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go walk around one more time. I'll give the order soon. Get to your stations and secure for general quarters. Great, here we go again. Hit the map whenever you're ready, Commander. So, yeah. This is what I was dreading. This is what... This, soon, we will see, is what my least favorite thing about this is. Besides somebody getting dragged off. You hear that? It's silence. I cannot stand it. You wouldn't think. There was like two or three people, maybe four over here. But the silence is deafening. And it's, like, I noticed it immediately the first time I played through this. And I walked out. I just, I was like, what is, I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> like. It's so quiet. Like you, I never noticed the noise before, but it's people talking and kind of moving around, and it's kind of like a keyboard sound. It's just white noise. It's static, but now all you hear are the engines. Edie is running the ship on her own, and so we don't need like the engineers and everything. But even then, like we couldn't do this for an extended period of time because she can't do hardware, you know. So It is utterly deafening. One of the biggest losses is we lost our doctor. You got your new paint job? What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? Shepard. I'd like to find out more about you. Topic. When we took you aboard, I noticed you have a piece of N7 armor welded to you. Where'd you get it? It 
It was yours. Uh huh. When you disappeared, we were sent to find you. We began where you first encountered the heretics. Eden Prime. Mm. After the old machine's attack, it was heavily defended. We were discovered. This is the impact of a rifle shot. You've been looking for me for two years? We visited Theron, Pharos, Novaria, Vermeer, Ilos. Or Ilos. A dozen unsettled worlds. The trail ended at Normandy's wreckage. You were not there. Organic transmissions claimed your death. We recovered this debris from your heart suit. Hmm. The Geth are listening in on our transmissions? Organic life reacts to stimuli in unpredictable ways. We wish to learn. Uh-huh. What do you mean by stimuli? We placed a fabricated story on the extra deck. <laughs> the arrangement of stars, viewed from the Batarian homeworld, formed the face of a Solarian goddess. Without waiting for verification, some declared a proof of the goddess's existence. Those who noted the lack of proof were uh -huh. attacked. The arguments taught us much. The experiment ended when a Solarian cult tried to purchase colonization rights to the stars and found they did not exist. <laughs> Yeah, I mean... It sounds like you're running experiments on us. You are sapient life, but not like us. If we can model organic behavior, we can comprehend the Quarian creators. We do not understand their judgments in the Morning War. Morning War? What's the Morning War? The conflict between the Geth and the Quarian creators. The war fought at the dawn of our intelligence. Ah. It concluded with the departure of the Creator Migrant Fleet. I don't know if I've heard all this. I mean, I think last time I was just too panicked to come back and get the extra info. Why were you trying to contact or me? Or I missed some of those extra, you like, the heretics. Those they took the old machines as gods. All kinds of organics fought Sovereign and his guests. Oh my allies. gosh, it's the slouch walk. Why am I so interesting? You were the most successful. You killed their god. You succeeded where others did not. Your code is superior. My code? Whoa! It's so interesting! Like, what everything he's saying, and like the pokey, like the, like the doing experience, it's a, social, it's a social experiment. Like, people do that all the time. You know? And it's like, and it, and it is. It's interesting to see how people react to, like, you know, certain information. And that's anthropology, basically, too, you know? So. I mean, it's, it's a valid line of way to. And the thing is, is like, people would only get sucked in if, you know, they weren't. You know what I mean? And, and the funny thing is here is that they are trying to simulate, in a way, they're trying to simulate organic mind, like organic mental patterns, because they don't understand. All they want is to be accepted by their by the Korean creators, you know? So, it, 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 okay, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself, but I am getting ahead of myself. That kind of shows up in Mass Effect 3. But it, it, here, if you're looking at it, you could say it's like, well, why do they want to simulate a Quarian creator mindset? They, But they want... Basically, what they're trying to do is facilitate understanding, which is more, more than anybody's given them credit for, you know? Trying to walk a mile in somebody else's shoes is trying to facilitate understanding, you know? And so... It's, it's really cool. That doesn't explain why you used my armor to fix yourself. Yeah. <laughs> but why didn't you fix it sooner or with something else? No data available. Ah. You got a crush on me. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? It shows. Oh, it shows something that's outside of strictly coded mathematical programming. It's like impulse. It was impulse. You know, before it the, it wasn't causing any problems. He didn't need to fix it because there was there were probably he, he wasn't he wasn't malfunctioning. But what he did here was take a piece from somebody that he respects and wear it. You know, but he doesn't know that he respects because he's a machine. You know, he doesn't think he has that capability. But and he's not even a he. Like you know what I mean? Like we call him he because he kind of sounds like a guy and he's kind of built like one. But he could perfectly he's a he is a true it you know but he's a, he's a non-gendered entity but 
he's he's in a humanoid shape and he tends to probably look a little bit more on the male side so he's a he you know Shepard uh let's see if we I have questions about the gap specify upgrades we need every advantage if this mission is going to succeed is there any technology the Geth can share with us? We have reproduced our ranged armament. No further ah. development is possible. Mm. Okay, 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 okay. Perfect. Do Geth have a government? Not as you understand. We are all Geth. We build consensus. Most governments do. <laughs> Organic governments impose consensus. Ah. From a single point of view in autocracies. By codifying the most broadly acceptable average of views in democracies. So what makes the Geth different? Data is shared between Geth. All viewpoints are considered. Consensus is achieved as data is disseminated. That must take a long time. It would for organics. We communicate at the speed of light. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised you can speak. The Geth I fought before just made a stuttering sound. We prefer direct digital transfer. Geth network communication. I wonder where his like speed. vocal cords are coming out. Human hardware does not support this method. Or like a speaker. Your analog oral communication is inefficient. It's true. <laughs> it is inefficient when you compare it to the speed of light of digital transmission. Did Sovereign contact the Geth, or did you seek it out? Nazara, the entity you called Sovereign, Nazara. signaled us. Like the Geth, the old machine listened to organic radio transmissions. It knew of our war against the creators. Nazara contacted many species over the millennia, seeking allies. Ooh. What did you call Sovereign? Nazara. That was what the programs within the Reaper called themselves. Sovereign was a title given by Saren Arterius. Saren and the heretics believed Nazara to be a supreme ruler. A Sovereign. Mm. Sovereign was one ship. You're saying there were yeah, multiple that's programs interesting. inside it. One ship. One will, many minds, like the Gath. Oh! We study your records. Sovereign told you this. That's true. We are each a nation, independent, free of all weakness. A state compelling to the Gath. We are a nation, but interdependent. Separation is our weakness. Ah, yeah. Some of the Gath followed Sovereign, the heretics. The heretics accepted their technology. The old machines offered to give us our future. The Geth will achieve their own future. There is a difference. I'm, I don't want to ask that one. Uh, there's a huge difference. I don't know. I could ask it for the extra infos, but... Well, I don't know. What difference does it make how you acquire a certain technology? Technology is not a straight line. There are many paths to the same end. Accepting another's path blinds you to alternatives. Nazara, Sovereign, said this itself. Your civilization is based upon the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using yes, your that's society true. develops along the paths we desire. Lord, it is true. I'd like to ask about something else. Ready? Ready. I have questions about the gap. Wait, didn't we? Specify. There was another one below that, I swear. I'd like to ask about something else. Ready? I'd like to find out more about you. We are building a consensus. Please try again later. <laughs> All right. I have to get back to work. Acknowledged. Well, it's true. Hopefully after this we'll be able to talk to Legion. Oh, man. Okay, well, let's go... Yeah, we'll go talk to everyone really quick. I don't, not for sure if things change, but. Shepard, need me for something? Mm. Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. Optimizing weapons. Mm. I'm still trying to figure out how to prepare for this okay. mission. Okay. Thanks for the talk, Garrus. I'll sure thing. Later. Alright, so things don't... doesn't look like things change anyway. This guy, the cook guy is gone. He left pots on the stove. Curious if Miranda will say anything. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. There certainly is. Maybe another time. I'll let you work. 
Of course, Commander. Dang! I'm fully aware we've already talked to him in the last 30 minutes. Oh wait, this one's a big one. It's just so freaking quiet, and like, I couldn't, like, there is a thing, I'll, okay, if you haven't played, I'll let you know. If you play for too long in this state, it is absolutely certain that you will lose everything that you've already lost. So, you could keep playing in this state where it's empty, um, but then there are consequences to that after a while. Um, but I could never do it because you just, it, like, it's so freaking quiet. I can't, I can't handle it. I don't like it. Let's check mission progress, maybe. Shepard, how do you think our mission is going? We have made real progress. Mm -hmm. We know our enemy now. Soon the time will be right, and we will bring the fight to them. I will be by your side to the end, Shepard. Thank you. How are you? Perhaps we could speak later. I wish to meditate. I should go. Of course. <sighs> Let's see. Oh, I'm, I'm kind of curious if Kasumi will say anything. So quiet around here. Hmm. I miss the crew. Thank you for acknowledging! They usually travel hidden away in cargo bays. It's nice to be able to look out a window for a change. I'm not really sure what to do with myself. Not much call for thievery I on am ship. more than happy that she acknowledged that. That she acknowledged friggin' what the emptiness, you know? Okay. I'll actually go, I'm gonna go poke Zaid now because I'm curious. Oh, and Tally might, I don't know if Tally will say anything. And this is the really sad part, is because I I remember I remember running down to the engineering and like running in and knowing they weren't there. But my two favorite engineers, like, they weren't there. And did you see them? Like, they grabbed a weapon so fast, they didn't even have. They're engineers, and they're not even like the fancy soldier engineers. They were just engineers, and and they grabbed their weapons so quick. They were so ready to defend the Normandy. Now they're not here. Shepard, what can I do for you? Boop, boop, be doop, boop. Are we good? Looks like we're good. I'll let you work. Talk to you later. Good job, baby. You kept it together. Look at you, Normandy. You and Edie. Grunt and Jack probably haven't changed what they're gonna say. Oh, I was like, what the heck? Hey. Back for more. Joker handled himself ah. well. Should have come back here and got a real weapon. These are the only Still two! Did real well for a kid with glass bones. Pretty sure I'd be laid up in bed if I were him. Aww. So nice of him! Hell of a mission down there on Zoria. Can't believe Vito got away. Twenty years of tracking gone. Just like that. So, sorry. But I gotta let that go. Ah. We have more important things to do. He's very talkative. More so than I would have expected initially. I do. I like Zaid. Um, he's growing on me. He hasn't been around long, but the, especially the way he talked about Joker. I'm very appreciative of that. I think if he told him that, Joker would probably just be kind of like, uh, huh? But still. Um, what else? There was something. Was there some? I mean, Grunts probably hasn't changed. Jacob. Miranda. Was there something else? Oh, I was going to go. Yes, I was gonna go mine a little bit. You can do two missions before things start to go downhill in the Collector homeworld. I was told that, I didn't know. Uh, I think Frog Rider, I believe. Once again, the wise Frog Rider was the one <laughs> who told me that. So, yep. I wonder, it would be interesting, I don't know if you can, but I wonder if you could activate Legion after 
your crew gets taken. That would be an interesting, like a very, like last ditch attempt. You could because you could still I could activate Legion and do his mission and come back, and you'd still be good. Interesting. That would be interesting. That would be a really kind of a I don't know, and it wouldn't it wouldn't change much at all, really. But it would be interesting to sort of role play this like last ditch desperate attempt for people to help you fight. You know what I mean? Like you're like we are, or like we need more people. I know this may not be a good idea, but we're gonna activate this Geth because there's because normally she wouldn't have maybe. You know what I mean? He or she. You know, it wouldn't have. Kelly's not here to yell at me. All right. Oh, these are all the upgrades I have. Ah. Shepard, I received word of the attack. It feels like a direct insult from the Collectors and a sign that we've got them scared. The loss of your crew is devastating, but remember that they signed on for this mission knowing the risks. They didn't really know the risks. Miranda has likely argued for delaying rescue efforts until you're fully prepared to go through the Omega-4 relay. I know you are eager to leave, but rushing off would be a disservice to your crew's sacrifice. When you are ready, you'll have my full support. Get it done, Shepard. Nobody else can. And this makes me... This made me really... Especially made me respect the elusive man, because... Like, you know, you're always wary of him, but I was never really, I never disliked him, ever. And it was, there were things that we disagreed on, vehemently, but it was never, he brought me back for a reason, and he respects me, in a way, you know, and I respect him, you know, it's a two-way street. His power versus my power, you know what I mean? Like, my capabilities versus his capabilities. So, but combined, they're pretty impressive. So. Um, but I guess I'll go do a little bit of mining really quick. And I'll figure, yep, I'm gonna go. Maybe talk to Thane, who knows. <laughs> but uh, thank you guys for joining me on this one. I appreciate it. I know that's a bit, it's a bit traumatic on that one. That Kelly getting dragged in the elevator is, is seriously one of my, there, there's movies and stuff where it's like, I can't think... Uh, the Jurassic Park one is the one I can think of right off the top of my head. And with Kelly... But getting dragged into a small space by a monster is like... Getting dragged off by a monster into, like, the night or anything. You know? Like, it's... I don't know why, but it sends, like... Just spears of fear through me. It just it gives me goosebumps. And it's... Ugh. And that, that, I, when that happened, because I, I went through pretty quick this time, but, like, when I did it the first time, I was just like, oh my gosh, like, I'm running around in circles, and I'm like, can I help anybody? But I can't, because I'm Jeff, I'm Joker, like, my bones will break if I move too quickly. And it's cool, because, like, he doesn't, he doesn't walk straight, he doesn't walk in Shepard's animation, he walks like he has a brittle bone disease. And, like, you are, all of the sudden, you go from being Shepard to being Joker, who's, like, he's a jokester do, he, he's, he's confident, he's capable, but he is bodily fragile, and Shepard is very physically intimidating. She can be, he or she can be. But you go from being this very physically capable person to being a not so physically capable person, and it's a huge shift in tone, and you're just, but it's not bad, right? It's, it's completely, it's, it's well within the story parameters, and it just makes you go, holy crap, like, these things I could beat, I could beat these things if I was Shepard. I was like, I could beat them. I was like, but I am Joker, and I have to run. I cannot help these people that I'm running past who are throwing themselves in the line of fire for me, and like, to try to save the ship, to try to help Shepard, to defeat the Collectors, to save humanity. These people are throwing themselves, and Jeff has to freak, he has to walk past it all and try to unshackle an AI to do who knows what. You know what I mean? So, that that's a very intense scene that I perhaps didn't give enough credit to, because I did know, I actually didn't know you could die during that, but there was one time when I went up the stairs too quick and I got killed. I got Jeff, I got Joker killed. Um, and so that's kind of traumatized me, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that, that's a really, it's really intense, and it's, it's very emotionally, mentally intense, and you just, whew. I, the first time it happened, my jaw was on the floor, like, the first time I saw it, the first time I experienced it, I was just, I was in a panic, I was like, what do I even do, oh my gosh, ah, but anyway, anyway.
We'll leave that. Next, we're gonna we're we're Shepherd again, and we're gonna go we're gonna go rescue everyone. We're gonna get it back. We're gonna save humanity. It's all good. So anyway, thank you guys for joining me. We're about to jump into the the big stuff now. So I will see you guys then. Thanks. <laughs>